Hello everyone, today we are talking about increasing the sizes of cubes in a self-generated grid in Grasshopper. So this will be our final result we will be looking at. And so let's get this started with. So let's create a new Grasshopper file and then we're going to shape preview. We're going to select all here and just hide everything. And first we're gonna create just a simple box. You can also go by a geometry, but in our case we just make a primitive, very simple box. Um, this box will be here and has a few different things. It has the base here in the middle, the X, the Y, and the Z factor. So what we're going to do first is basically duplicate it into the X or into the Y direction. So we're going to move, use the unit X and then we're also going to use the move um, components. So it needs the geometry and the motion in order to uh, work properly. So when we put this in here now, we see it moves a little bit and we can even use a slider to put it in here. However, it just moved once. So what we do what we want, if we take a look at this, we want several of those. So we not only want one, but we want like several of those things. Several vectors that move into one direction. The thing what we're gonna do with that is that basically we're gonna create a, a series that creates several of those outputs. So we will have the series commands and then we just put number slider into the amount of steps uh, that we want, so the counts, and how the distance of the steps will be. So we'll see here, voila, we have 10 different steps, or like 11 different steps, and if I increase this one you'll see the list will increase as well. Okay. So now we're going to put this into the unit vector and we see we have different amounts of boxes. You can do this with any geometry. For example, if you want to take a geometry in Rhino itself, um, for example, we can take like a more extravagant like this pyramid, so like this and that. Now you have the pyramids, or like the cutoff pyramid pyramids. And we take the geometry, put it in here. And we can also just duplicate the geometry. So this works with every, any kind of thing. And by the way, if I update it, it will obviously update in real time as well. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use um, the move um, compartment again, and we're going to use it the y direction. So we're going to go into the other direction that we have here, and we're going to just type in a y. Yeah, like we have here. And we're going to use as well a the series command here as well. We have the same one, uh, amount. Well, actually, we don't really have the same amount, but uh, we will copy this for now. Like here, so we have a second row of that. Put it into the y direction, to the motion here, and this time we're going to use the moved objects of it. So as we see now it will move into like different direction just once that has to do like with the way this thing is defined so here we have only 10 values and here we also have 10 values but we want each of the 10 values to be moved as well and a way to do this to just use graft um, tr graft tree just put it in here and put it in there we can also do it just by right, right click and graft. So now we have our duplicate into one direction to the other direction and um, as you see it can be varied in the amount of duplication that's gonna happen here. So and just for easiness in the sake I will just put this one here as well so now it's basically all re always going rectangular. Okay I will pre hide the preview here 
So uh, the next thing we're going to do, what we had in our early one, is to have different sizes of the thing. So we're going to just use the simple command scale, which is uh, here. And on top of that, we might want to deconstruct uh, the B rep as well, so we can get uh, a point that basically can be used like this as well. Um, for example, we can use uh, one of the point of the vertices, 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 like this one one single point and it will basically well, we can also please change this one as well for example you might want to use a bottom point like this one to have the scaling happening on that factor so that will be the center point of it then the factor will be um, can be a series of lists again but I think I want to decrease the step amount this time so nice and low like that and now we will have the geometry in here I'm gonna hide the other things as well and as you see we have a nice variety of different scaling factors um, it looks like even though it looks actually quite interesting that we have um, a wrong vertices um, alignment or like uh, connection to it so what we want to do is actually graph this one as well again this might actually produce too many of the values that we have at the moment and graph this one here as well okay let me see okay now we're in a very interesting position of problem solving because we have all the values that we need from this one and we have the values that we have here as well but it seems that it does a duplication a little bit too often or not enough so we have the geometry of the 144 items oh, I think I can just like it like this well we also might be able to just duplicate um, the data that we have uh, the amount of times we are using it and then we could put it into the factor but we would actually like the scaling factor but we would actually graph that one as well that would like have the same result as we see here. I'm very glad that worked because otherwise I would be standing for a long time here. So, and we can also like rescale it to our needs. Okay, and then we can find a configuration until we are happy with it. I'm gonna hide the um, first one here. Do a nice, uh, whoops, do a nice. Um, I don't want to do that. I want to do this one here. I will make a some nice uh, plane that we can look at at the beginning here. So we have our small pyramids. We're gonna disable the ones that we have here in the beginning. I'm gonna right click this one, click bake group. And now, if we disable the preview here, we have our nicely uh, defined pyramids that are all individual individual size and can be duplicated and increase in any in any amount you want so thanks for watching and see you in the next one